Hey people, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while. Um, I mean, we've been busy with with some projects that we've got lined up, but nonetheless, we are back today for a new video. So the day is Tuesday. It is quarter two, and we are talking today about occlusion training. Now, occlusion training is a sort of like a training method within its own. Still results to hypertrophy, and it's not a, a commonly practiced one, but with with current situations the shoe fits almost so today we're focusing on occlusion bands because it allows us to be more creative and effective with our workouts and it allows us as well which we will get on to create another driver for hypertrophy you know people are led to believe that in this current situation where we're not able to make progress it's just a state of maintaining or losing in some cases when that that is far from the truth you know if you are able to find and create the right stimulus for your body to grow from then we are going to be in a position to still make progress as if we was in the gym the only downside is that we don't have the machines to work in certain planes of motion or target and train in certain loads so we're focusing on occlusion bands now occlusion bands are essentially a technique on which we restrict blood flow so blood stays in the muscle but it doesn't get out the muscle i'll show you now what they look like so these are what they look like they come as a pair and the idea here is you will wrap them around certain areas of your body to restrict blood flow in training so if you imagine we've got a pump um, and obviously when we're training when we're curling whatever whatever body part we are using them for we will then restrict the blood flow so we are essentially keeping that pump and causing as much muscle damage as possible now touching on to the anatomy of the human body uh, bones have different classifications and the classification that we will be focusing on are long bones now long bones you have your humerus here, yes humerus, so this is the long bone on the upper portion of the arm and what we will be doing here is the occlusion bands go on top of the arm just like so and then the idea here is as we are curling, as we are pressing, as we are extending to target the biceps and the triceps we restrict blood flow coming in but we keep, the, uh, we sorry we restrict blood flow going out but we keep the blood in to cause as much damage as possible whilst doing the repetitions. Now you will place blood flow restriction training generally in isolation movements and ideally although we are focusing on occlusion training today you mainly want to be focused on getting progressively stronger within your training apply as much intensity to your workouts as possible and getting stronger over a set period of time you would only generally include bfr training if you're sort of maxed out getting strong in the movement that way then you would then focus on using the occlusion bands to increase more drive. So next up, I'm gonna show you how you are actually using. Now, when it comes to using the bands, you don't, although they come as a pair, you don't wanna put one on your arm or one on your legs. They work as a pair. So what you do on the left arm, you would then do on the right. And then from there, we're targeting the biceps or the triceps to restrict the blood flow. So this is how the occlusion bands are looking on. So as you can see, we've got the humerus here and it's located on the upper portion of the humerus. You don't want it down at the bottom and you most certainly don't want it too high so it's on the shoulder joint it's just underneath if you think you've got your delts here we're putting it down just about here so just where your sleeve will go and then we do the same on the other arm now if you think about how tight the one i'm thinking of a scale of 1 to 10 ideally studies have shown that around a 7 out of 10 is the most effective and these occlusion band sessions don't really want to go on any longer than around 15 minutes because we don't want to get the arm to get dead the muscle group to go to sleep so ideally these workouts are kept short and simple so this is why again you would only do them in short isolation exercises so to put it into demonstration what i'm using here is a resistance band it just came today these are cheap i'll link it in the description you can get them from amazon as well as these as well um you can use dumbbells or obviously if the gyms is open we would then use cable stacks but the idea here is we're using them at home so we're getting creative with the workouts now all you're going to do is obviously we'll put it on the floor and then the idea here this is just for arms so what we're doing here is we're focusing on arms if you was to put the occlusion bands anywhere else just think long bone again so i'll do a second part to the video to which we put them on the upper portion of our legs and then we include in the lower body as well so that's how we can then get creative with leg day training but nonetheless set your resistance band up in any way possible we're just going to focus on say a hammer curl grip the band like so and then from there all we're going to do is keep a controlled motion and we're just curling up and we're curling down so you can see how everything is a lot more vascular and as blood comes into the muscle we are keeping it in the muscle and not letting it out because we are restricting the bicep area now in terms of sets and reps we're working in a higher rep range now we know multiple drivers of hypertrophy hypertrophy being the study of muscle growth um, there is mechanical tension um, muscle damage 
we're just doing we're focusing on. So if you think whilst blood is kept in the muscle, we're focusing on causing as much damage as possible, which when left to recover with adequate nutrition, training, sleep and other variables will lead to hypertrophy response. So you can use dumbbells, um, but we've just used a resistance band. Um, resistance bands as well, they come in different strengths as well. So depending on your training ability, depending on how much you want to lift or what exercise you are doing, different bands, different tensions. A red one is the second lightest one, I believe. So this is good, you can do warm-ups with it. I'll be doing a mobility video to which you can use your bands. But that essentially wraps up today's video for occlusion training. Um, hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think.